This is my horse, Kobe Joe. Don't mind his dirty blanket. Hi, Kobe. Hello. He's 28 years old. And last year, he went through a major surgery. He colicked with a strangulated lipoma. And he came through with absolutely no problems. Uh, they did the surgery, and... He didn't lose any intestine or anything. They said he was absolutely in a miraculous case. And then in March of last year, he fractured his right knee. And even though it's healed, he still will not bend it enough to lie down to sleep. He will roll, as you can see, but he won't stay down. So we're still working on that. Um, in October, the barn he was in burned down. And there were 39 horses inside, including him. And he helped a whole bunch of horses survive that fire. So he's miraculous and a hero. But anyway, today I would, what I would like to do is show you my feeding regimen with him. Because I think that's a lot of what keeps a horse going and keeps them surviving a lot of different things and keeps them going strong because he still runs and jumps and plays and does everything like he used to. Um, not quite as spunky as he was when he was younger, but darn good for a 28-year-old. So let's start with his hay. This looks like a mess, but sorry about the mess. But that's because this hay belongs to one border, this hay belongs to another border, and the one in the middle, which is not as much as mine. So, I have his hay bag here. I fill a hay net. And I use this, this stable hand. I highly, These are great. These are great for filling hay bags. I love these. So, I got this at sstack.com so this is what this looks like when it's in it just goes in there and I hold one end and then I just take my hay and I fill it I just throw it in here and it's easy peasy so got my hay net nice and full and then I put in here I have alfalfa so it's compressed, so he gets about, that's equivalent to about a flake of alfalfa, and he gets that on the top. And that hay bag probably weighs about, let's see, let's see how much this, this hay net weighs. And for that, I use this, the scale because it is better to feed a horse by cow than by the flake, even though they should have 24-7 free choice hay, which is what my horse has. I always give him more than I know he'll eat. So I like to weigh it so I know there's more there and he won't run out. And he'll still have some left over in the bag in this hay net in the, when he goes out and he has enough outside enough hay outside so let's see this is going to how much it's gonna weigh here so we got to pick up the whole bag so that taps out at about 17 pounds which is perfect because I always like it to be between 16 and 18 pounds for him at night so that's that's a perfect amount of hay and there will be some left over tomorrow and then he will go outside and have hay waiting for him out there. Okay, so we're going to go hang this in his stall. And then I will put hay out for him for tomorrow in his paddock. And then we will do his dinner. And we got this little girl hanging around. Hi, Mitzi. <laughs> so, out in his paddock, he's got huge bin. And I just fill this with hay. He has hay all over the ground too, which I'm in the process of picking up. But he's got a big paddock. 
and he likes to go around it's early spring so he likes to go around and look for little tiny bits of grass which there's not much of which is good because he can't have a lot of grass he's got Cushing's and insulin resistance so we try to keep the grass to a minimum but he does still go out and pick and that's enough hay for him for the day because he'll go back and forth between the hay and the and he's got a little little bit of alfalfa in his bucket here so that's outside and we I made this little ribbon area here his friend Chase is in that side he's on this side I made this ribbon area with little little ribbon gates because the, the, the real gates here but they're not together, they're separated. And this is only temporary because we had to rush here after the barn burned down. Uh, we came rushing over here, so it was a rush job. So this is not anybody's permanent paddocks right now. It will be changing soon, but it works for now. And this way here, this ribbon I put up here gives them separate gates in case she wants to take her horse out. But, you know, don't want my horse to be at the gate. So I made this little setup here with ribbon and just cheap, you know, cheap sticks holding it up. Cheap little posts with electric ribbon. It is electric and it hooks to the electric ribbon on the outside. Okay, so now we get to the feeding room and kittens and kitties. You guys are all eating. Wonderful kitties. We're in now because they haven't been spayed yet. Okay. For breakfast, all he gets is Triple Crown Light. He just gets, that's about, about a pound of triple crown weight. That's all he gets for breakfast. For dinner, he gets a little over a pound of triple crown light, which is a ration balancer and a very good one. And he gets a half a pound of triple crown senior. So far, and I forgot his, oops, his smart packs. They ran out yesterday and they are at home. But for his smart packs, he gets an omega-3 with uh, vitamin E and he also gets um, an ulcer supplement, a prevent ulcer preventative, the smart ulcer preventative, smart packs version. And he also gets, so in it, with his, dinner I will put in a scoop of hero a scoop of MSM that fell over two pergolides these are for his cushings he has really bad cushings so these are for his cushings his pergolide and he gets prevacox he gets a half a tablet of Pre prevacox once a day for his navicular which he also has so we're gonna mix that together. Okay, so there's everything mixed together and then we're gonna, I'm gonna use some oil. I ran out of canola oil, boy, I'm out of everything. So I'm gonna pick up some canola oil later, but for now I will use a little bit of someone else's. Um, so they have, oil. that's corn oil, which I don't really like to give them, but what I do is I put a little in here and then I take a nice big spoon and I mix it all together. And that's what he gets for dinner. And he loves it and eats all the pills. He eats everything because of the oil mixed in. And it prevents the uh, powder from just sitting at the bottom and him not eating it. Okay, so there it is. Mixed with about a third of oil maybe about a third of a cup, give or take. 
and all the other stuff and then I just put it in his he eats the whole thing and he has his hay and he has his alfalfa and he will pick all night long the way a horse is meant to and that is my horse's regime now your horse will probably be different because depending on a lot of factors but I'll get into that in other videos so thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.